Hi guys, good morning. My name is Dan. Welcome to Engelgeist. Um, for those of you that are new, welcome. For those of you that are returning, welcome back. For those of you that support me on Patreon, thank you so very much for your subscriptions. This is the broad spectrum reading for all signs. It's the daily forecast for um, Saturday the 14th, so the end of the week reading. Um, this is a broad spectrum meaning I speak in broad terms. You need to figure out where it best fits in your life and then use it as such. If it doesn't fit, that's okay. It doesn't mean that anything's wrong or broken. You just might be working on something different at this time. The other thing I want you to be aware of is in the drop down menu on the daily forecast is all of my sort of housekeeping, contact information, things like that. So please read through that at least once, especially if you're new to me, just so you get an idea of you know, what I do, where to contact me, what decks I use, and kind of the idea that I have have around this channel and what purpose it's supposed to serve, okay? So let's just get into these cards and see what's going on. What do they want us to know? <clears throat> what is out there and available to us? So our card, beautiful, I will take it. The sun, the sun! <laughs> All right, the reason why I love this is because our underpinning card from Sunday, and if you don't know, if you're new to me and you don't know what I'm talking about, that's the weekly reading that happens every Sunday that kind of shows us the energy that underpins these cards. Like it's the energy in the background of what we're experiencing every day. And that card was Leo, or uh, sorry, Leo. It was strength, which is associated with the sign of Leo. And Leo is uh, planetarily is associated with the sun right? So this is a double down, really fiery, wonderful energy to be having, especially after the lion's gate we just went through and the sort of wrapping up of Leo season, right? This is our time. I get a feeling with this being here, this is our time to get our last little push in a positive way, in an optimistic way, in an excited way towards whatever it is that we, you know, we want, our goals, our desires, um, our relationships, our job, you know, shift our perception, understand anything is possible. The sun will get us there. The sun will light the way, energize us, find the optimism that is in whatever it is that you're doing today, whatever it is that you're working on today. The sun provides that. If you have some sort of yes, no question ruminating in your head, like, should I do this? Shouldn't I do this? This is a big fat yes to that question. The sun is always like an affirmative yes. Uh, the sun brings sort of life into things, right? And it births life. Uh, well, I wouldn't say birth life, but we did see the empress yesterday. She's all about that energy of birth. So if yesterday we were contemplating new avenues, new opportunities, or new chapters in our life, where we want to be, what we want things to look like for ourselves, the sun is about ready to shine and energize those things, give more life to them, to continue to nurture them, to give them the, the vitamin D that they need so that they can grow into actual tangible realities for us at this time. So to me, this is a really beautiful... Um, card and it being so closely related in my opinion to that strength card that we saw on Sunday says to me like you know I mean for lack of a better term winner winner chicken dinner guys get out there and make it happen um, uh, use this energy to uh, empower you to transform you to uh, give you hope give you optimism to grow in possibility and then let sort of the world around you or the environment around you align in a way that it shows you the path clearly or it, it um, lets you see where you need to go, how you need to get there. And then enjoy the journey, right? Enjoy the uh, bask in the glow of all of it and enjoy the journey. Now, for those of you that are like stuck in, in serious dramatic situations and you're like, I'm not feeling these cards that he's talking about. I mean, there might be some of you out there or some of you that might see this at a later date and you're like i don't feel this reading at all it doesn't work with my life my readings are also there as forecasts meaning they're there to let you know kind of what's out there so if we're too caught up in our bullshit or we're too caught up in our heads and we're not able to see beyond our own fears worries and ego the sun is here to sort of shine the light on what is possible what's out there beyond our 
day-to-day -day limitations that we may place on ourselves mentally or physically or, you know, due to, you know, lack of resources, the sun wants to empower us, embolden us, and show us that there's opportunity around us. And so open yourselves to that opportunity, guys, so that you can move forward. This little cat here, he looks like he's looking at, you know, he's maybe even daydreaming or in hopes, but he's beginning to see the light, right? He's beginning to see the light of that sun. And he's beginning to realize that, oh, wow, maybe I can make this happen. And get into that excitement, get into that vibe, get into that like flow and make it happen for yourself, whatever it is that you may want. Sun being associated with sort of that fire energy, that's all about desire. That's all about um, what is it that we want at the deepest levels of being and then how do we go about getting there. The sun will empower us and teach us how to, how to go there. It'll light our way. We, we should be able to see clearly with the sun around us. Now, our other card is card number nine, or sorry, card number 18, which boils down numerologically to a nine. It is confront. We saw this card twice this week. There's something with this confront card to me, there's something, someone, or something within ourselves that we may be battling that we need to let go of, that we need to confront, look at, have a chat with, um, be honest with, uh, um, maybe even accept or honor within ourselves so that we can step into the light of this sun and move forward. Does that make sense? Now we have that moon in the background of this card and that shadow self that's kind of hanging out in that card. And what I love is that the shadow is connected on the ground there. So we are connected to this aspect of self or this situation, whatever it is that may be bothering us or not quite right for us or that we're ashamed of or that we don't want others to see. But we need to look at that. We need to confront it and not confront necessarily in a nasty negative way, but just confront it in a way of like sort of being brave, like Leo energy, shining our own sun, our own light, our own intelligence, our own, you know, eyes upon it and going, okay, what is this about? Why have I run from you for however many years? Why am I afraid of what others might think about this part of my behavior or my personality? Why do I hide him in a closet? Does that make sense? The moon up above him says to me that this part of us is just as equally as important as what we project outwardly, the i.e. the sun, right? Um, we need this aspect of ourselves. We need this sort of part of ourselves. It's not going to let us go. It's always going to be with us. It's sort of like the shadow that follows us around, right? So the sooner that we have this conversation or show this part of ourselves or this situation some compassion, because the sun would represent that compassion too, the sooner we kind of can move forward with this situation or this aspect of self in positivity, right? And embrace it. That moon above it also says that this part of ourselves or this situation has deep importance to us at a subconscious level, at an intuitive level, it's part of who we are and we need it to come through this door so that we can kind of move forward and enjoy the gifts that the sun is bestowing upon us. Does that make sense? Number nine is always about that idea of personal completions or reaching that sort of coming to terms moment, that coming to Jesus moment, that understanding that we need so that we can reach the energy of the card of number 10, right? where we can kind of learn the lesson and move on to begin the next lesson. And so this to me could be about that for ourselves, but the sun wants us to learn this. The sun wants to make this hopefully an easy, honest, available process to you. But we might have to do a little bit of the work. We might have to dig up a little bit, dredge up a little bit of the darker side of our feelings around something or our perceptions around something and then like really look at them for what they are and be honest with ourselves. Is it really as bad as we think it is, whether it's about us or somebody else? Are we really, you know, holding a resentment or a, a grudge that might be holding us back? And in confronting that or looking at that from an and confront is like, it's an energy, we usually use confrontation as something that's negative, right? But in this case, I really feel that this confront is about really just sort of standing still, sitting with ourselves, and having that conversation. 
we can't control others or situations, but we can sort of look at our reactions and our responses to them and assess that and have some sort of ability to change that or alter that in a way that benefits us. And that's what I feel like this card is telling us to do today. The sun wants us to move forward. That strength card tells us we have the strength within ourselves to find um, the answers around whatever this is that wants that we're, we've been maybe in fear of or avoiding or not wanting to look at. Okay. Now let's go to the grounding stone. I don't know if it's you guys. I don't know if you guys are picking up on this, but this week I feel like that when I do these readings, although they're a little bit short, I feel really keyed in. Like I feel like they seem the messages feel really clear and precise. And um, even though I know I speak in broad terms, but I just feel like it's these are really good readings for some reason. And I don't usually like to toot my own horn in that way, but I'm like, oh, some, something's coming through. Uh, the word is energy. Uh, it is on um, Malachite, right? Or not Malachite, sorry, Obsidian. Obsidian is a storm, is, as a dark stone. It, it's a stone that like forces us to kind of look at the darker sides of who we are, but it is also a stone that wards off negativity. And when I look at that shadow behind that doorway, it makes me feel like, and the word energy makes me feel like we need to do the work today. We need to look at where we are held up, where we are on the hook, where are, uh, what's the word, like our, uh, when our energy goes off, right? And, and what I mean by goes off means like when we get pissed, when we get annoyed, when we get frustrated, when we're, you know, not in that flow. We saw that flow card this week too. We saw that balance card this week. Like the, the cards are trying to tell us to get into the flow, get into the balance, to confront whatever this is that's in the fucking closet that we don't want to look at, deal with, um, uh, I think you're getting my drift, so I'm not going to go over and over this. This energy stone says to ground in that energy and to really be conscious and aware of how our energetic field is feeling, where our emotions are at. If something stirs up discomfort within us, that's that shadow in that doorway. That's that thing that might be within us, how we're relating to a situation, how we're reacting to a situation that we need to sort of confront and look at so that we can free ourselves, that, so that we can realize we have the strength to transform this, so that we can allow the sun to energize us and, and place light on it so that we can free ourselves from this and transform it. Does that make sense? And again, going back to the weekly grounding stone it was this idea of the word nature nature to me has a couple of meanings our own true internal nature which would be that shadow in the doorway we're a combination of a multitude of natures our emotional nature our spiritual nature our mental nature our um, uh, physical nature all of those things are like part of our makeup our being our being our dna all of those things are things that we should be learning about and grounding in and becoming more comfortable with. But also those things interact with the nature or the environment around us, the people around us, our experiences and what comes at us. And on some level, those aspects of our nature is creating what we experience out there. So if we are fighting against things or disgruntled with things, held back by things or in argument with them. If we're discomfort, in discomfort, we need to look at our energy. We need to go to the dark side in a way, do the shadow work. What is it in them that stirs this up in me? Because what I have found in my own practice when I sit with this stuff is that generally the things that I see in others that I cannot stand are the very thing that is within me that I cannot stand. And when I own that from that place, I'm able to find compassion for them, which frees me from that sort of anger and frustration and emotional charge and connection to them. And it allows me to then be an acceptance, more acceptance of myself, do the work on myself and free myself from the resentment so that when I'm in situations with people that are similar like that later in my life, it no longer holds the charge. Does that make sense? Right? It no longer triggers my button. 
I've evolved, I've become more comfortable in my own skin, and I'm more successful with allowing things to just be as they are. That is your forecast for the day. I hope it makes sense. Please hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you know when I go live. Sorry about all the pulsing, but I'm not so sure that that's not spirit screwing with my computer every morning. Um, I look forward to seeing you later. Have a great day. Bye-bye.